Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Sony GTK XB7 Extra Bass Bluetooth Speaker. Now this is another one of those request videos, hashtag another one. Now you can buy this from Amazon, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price, 248 bucks. Now it comes in three colors. You got black, blue, and red. Now on a side note, I just did a video for the Monster Rave Box, and in that video, I said the Monster Rave Box is my favorite portable Bluetooth speaker. Now it's not the best sounding. That title still goes to the Diamond Box, but for overall fun, the Monster Rave Box is my favorite portable Bluetooth speaker. Now a lot of people asked me to check out the XB7, so that's what we're gonna do, but a lot of people also asked me to do a comparison between the XB7 and the Rave Box, and that really doesn't make any sense because these two speakers are in two different leagues. Now the Monster Rave Box, that's a portable Bluetooth speaker. So that means you could take it to the beach, you could take it to the park, you could take it wherever you want because it has an eight hour battery life and the speaker's water resistant. Now with the Sony XB7, this is a stationary Bluetooth speaker. So there's no internal battery, the speaker has to be plugged in in order for it to work. So you're probably gonna wanna leave this in your house. Now, even if you run a cable from your house to your backyard or your driveway and you want to rock out outside, you got to be careful because the speaker is not water resistant. So if it starts raining and the speaker gets wet, you asked out. Now, for 248 bucks, this speaker has so many features. This might be a major go, but let's put it to the test. Now, one thing I will say, when you look at it on the website, it looks a little bit smaller, but when you get the box in your house, this is a big giant box and it weighs 33 pounds. All right, so keep that in mind. Now let's go through some of the features real quick. You got stereo sound for vertical and horizontal settings. So what that means is you got three tweeters, two on the top and one on the bottom. So if you're rocking the speaker vertically, the top two tweeters are gonna be activated. The speaker has a built-in sensor. So if you lay the speaker down horizontally, then it's gonna activate the other speaker. So that's a nice little feature. Now, one of the best features about this speaker is the lights. You got three different sets of lights. You got your strobe lights, okay? You got your speaker lights inside the speaker, and you got your line lights going around the inside of the speaker. That's gonna look crazy. Now, you can rock this with the app. It's called SongPal. But just like any other Sony product, you get a remote control, so you can use all of the features from the remote, or you can use it from the app. All right, so let's grab a little unboxing knife and let's pop this open. Now, some of the other features real quick. You got NFC, all right, so you can use that with your Android phones. You can party chain these speakers together, and this is a dope feature too. Now, you don't have to have two Sony speakers. Any speaker that has the jacks on the back, you can party chain them together, and I'll show you how to do that. But if you happen to get two of these, then you can wirelessly connect these and have stereo sound or left and right channel sound. Now that is kind of crazy. You know I had to get two. All right, so let's pop this open. See what it is. Now I went with the red color because I got a thousand black Bluetooth speakers. So I wanted to switch up and be different. All right, so here's your remote. Now if you ever bought Sony products, they always give you a nice remote. This one looks good. Got your usual books and shit. We'll file those to the side. And here's your power cable. Now I'm gonna pull out the speaker. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'll pull out the speaker. Y'all don't need to see me struggling. This is a big box. All right, talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I just took this out of the box and I gotta be honest with y'all, this might be the best looking Bluetooth speaker that I got yet. Look wise, this is a go. All right, the build quality is crazy. Definitely nothing cheap about this at all. On the front, you got your metal grill. Check out the top. You got some Sony branding with a nice textured pattern behind it. There's your two strobe lights. Now you got a handle on either end. And if you look at the bottom, more Sony branding, but you got four rubber stoppers. All right, now keep in mind, this is a stationary speaker. So you're gonna set this up in your man cave or your bedroom or your living room. You want it to look nice, and this one definitely looks nice. But check this out also. Now on the other side, you got four more rubber stoppers. 
So you can have this set up vertically or horizontally. Now let's go through the buttons on the top and try to get this in focus. All right. You got your power button. There's your function button. That's how you're going to switch between Bluetooth, USB, and audio in. You got your extra bass button. This is the extra bass speaker. You got your NFC tag and you got volume up and down. Now on the back, you got your add speaker. So now if you got another XB7, you're going to hit that add speaker and this is how you're going to chain them together. Now you got your party chain button. So if you want to connect this to non Sony speakers, you're just going to use these jacks right here, hit party chain and you can rock out with any speakers that have the jacks in the back. Now here's another dope feature about this speaker, USB. Now you see how most Bluetooth speakers have USB and you can charge your phone or your tablet or whatever, built in power bank. Well, not only can you charge your phone or your tablet, but this is a working USB port. So you could drop a flash drive in here and play music directly from a USB stick. Now think about that, that's kind of dope. If you want to set this up in your man cave and you don't want everybody having to connect Bluetooth phones and all of that, put a USB stick in here with a couple of thousand songs in here and you can rock out directly from your remote control. So this is kind of crazy, but I'm telling you, look wise, this might be the best looking speaker so far. Now I got to plug it in and we're going to go through the lights and we'll go through the app. And most importantly, we'll check out the sound. All right, so we all plugged in. Now let's check it out. Now you can control a lot of settings using your remote control. So you got your power on and off. You got your extra bass button. You got your lights. You can turn the lights on and off. You can also control the light settings. So you got rave, chill, cycle through those. You can also switch between audio in, USB, and Bluetooth. You got volume up and down, play and pause, reverse tracks, all that good stuff. Now let's turn it on real quick. Now I'll dim the lights so you can get the full effect, but this thing looks so dope. Let's take a look at the app real quick. Now this is the SongPal app. Now from the app, you can control everything on the speaker. All right, so you got your USB, your audio in, your music. Now if I log into Pandora or Google Play Music or SoundCloud, I'll have all my accounts right there on deck. You go to settings, you got different sound settings so you can activate your clear audio plus. You got a full EQ with preset sounds. So you got EDM, hip hop, R&B, pop, all that good stuff. You got your extra bass button, control that right from the app, and you got your DJ effects. Now you can also control all of the lighting settings. And when I'm playing the music, we'll go through. So you got rave, chill, random, flash, hot, cool, strobe, whole bunch of different settings. And you also have one more set of settings I'll show you. You got your other settings. So you got your auto standby. Now, if you turn on auto standby, basically what that's going to do, if nothing's connected, the speaker will turn off after 15 minutes. All right, so now for the most important part, let's do a sound test. I'll dim the lights and we'll check out some of these lighting features. Let's get busy. All right, so I'm going to dim the lights and let the music rock. Let's get some volume.
the lights back up. On a scale of one to 10, this is a major, major, major go. Now, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but these lights look so dope. The speaker's mad loud. I don't know if y'all noticed, but when I put on the extra bass, it did add a little bit more thump, but it's not crazy, but it sounds great. It sounds great. Now, what I'm gonna do is pair up two of these together and let's see how it sounds and see how it looks. All right, so I got them both paired up. Now let's test them out. Now, as far as the pairing process, real simple. Just play music on the first one, press add speaker, then go to the second one, press add speaker. It literally took less than 10 seconds to connect. All right, so let's go. Y'all can't see me behind the camera. I'm cheesing like crazy. On a scale of one to 10, these are a major, major, major go. Yo, I thought one of these sounded crazy. Yo, take my word for it. Don't buy one, all right? You need two of these. Now, it's gonna run you 500 bucks total, but trust me, if you don't trust me on nothing else, trust me on these. Not only do they look sick, but the sound is crazy. Yo, when you put that extra bass on, you're gonna feel it. Two of these together, just now I had the lights off. Yo, I'm up in this little room. It feels like a party environment. These are so dope. The ran I got it on, now I got the lights set on random strobes. So it, it kind of feels just like being in a party. You see how both speakers started randomizing at different moments. So it looks better like that. They're not synchronized together. Yo, 500 bucks. This is crazy. Now, I thought that Fluence FI-70 was one of the best buys for 500 bucks, but two of these, now I'm gonna set these up in my little DJ area. I'll give y'all a little footage of that so you can see what it's gonna look like with all of the rest of the LEDs and all of the crazy stuff. But trust me when I tell you, these are a major go. Fellas, get these in your man cave ASAP. All right, ASAP. Now, they're not portable, so you're gonna have to plug these in, but the way these look, you're not gonna wanna take these outside. Uh, you're not gonna want these to start getting scratches and getting beat up. You're gonna want them to always look brand new and look nice and crispy. Oh my God. Yo, y'all couldn't see me, but I was back here grooving. Buy these immediately. All right, trust me when I tell you. Whoever, whoever told me to check these out, yo, hats off. I'm gonna give you a hashtag salute. These are so dope. I'm glad I got two. I was getting ready to say, if I didn't like them, I'll sell I'll sell somebody to set. I'll sell somebody to set for 350 for the set. But nah, I'm keeping these. I'm about to set them up right now next to my little DJ booth. Yo, matter of fact, I'll give you some footage of that. But anyway, on a scale of one to ten, buy these immediately. Yo, have 